bunnies welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's esmeralda janet back at it again with another video so just like in the title this is going to be my college acceptance video so basically this video is going to be put in like this i'm going to show y'all my gpa which is going to be put on the screen and i'm going to show y'all um what i did for all of my scholarships and what apps i used for to pick the schools that i wanted and which schools i applied to as well as which schools i got accepted to and at the end of this video i will be telling y'all what my college pick video is well not pick video is but what my college of choice that i will be going to in the fall of 2024 are y'all ready? Oh, not all y'all ready. Are y'all ready? Like, are y'all ready for this? Because I'm so excited. And I actually, after this video, when this will, when it's gonna be posted in real time, when this video will be posted, you guys will be showing, seeing my college pick choice pictures because I got the inspo from this other girl that went to my school and that goes to my school, and so I decided to take those pictures too, so y'all will see those pictures and you know of course your, your your girl is gonna be um you know glamorous but this was back when i had my natural hair i've been holding on to this piece of information for a couple of videos y'all for a couple of videos um so finally i'm filming this video because i've had to push this back again and again and again because it just did not look right in my eyes but yes your girl is excited it's exciting so i'm gonna be reading this stuff off of my phone and everything so First things first, your girl has a 3.1 GPA and she's a senior in high school. I have six and a half weeks left, period. You know? Um, so, I have a 3.1 GPA. I had a 3.5 back when I was a junior. But because of IB and me, like, literally burning and failing to the ground with it, um, I dropped down to a 3.1. So, this is just all of the schools that I was, like... I'm going to tell y'all some of the schools I was interested in before I started my senior year and everything and when my GPA dropped and all. So a lot of the schools I was interested in would be like Baylor University, Rice University, um, Texas Women's University, as well as um, the University of Texas at Austin. Um, which other schools? Also, um... A lot of these schools are just based in Texas because, you know, I have younger siblings and I would like to stay close to them as much as I can, um, you know, because they're growing up so fast and I feel like I'm getting old every single second of the day. Oh, excuse me. But, you know, that's normal. That's a part of life. So, um, those are just some of the schools I was interested in before that. Um, into my senior year, I started researching schools that would be more of a fit for me and the GPA that I do have. Because the schools that I was interested in before, I had a much higher GPA and a much higher chance of getting in. Because of that, you have to set real expectations for yourself in those type of situations when something like that happens to you i don't wish that upon anybody but this is just what i went through and this is my advice for people who might go through it as well so um yeah anywho those are just some of the schools i was interested in before that but i'm gonna show i'm gonna tell y'all all the schools that i did apply to because all of those schools that i was talking about before i never i didn't end up applying to any of them because i was just like this is just so unrealistic for myself of course there is that you know small percentage that you might get in and if you choose to make that choice to to apply pay that apl application fee and you know at least apply and see if you had a chance and say that at least you did it girl go for it personally i don't regret not having applied to those schools because i did find the school of my dreams um actually the school of my dreams before the beginning of my senior year was texas women's university in denton texas um because i have a family member that went there and when i visited the campus at her graduation i just fell in love with it and i was just like texas women's university sounds nice and it was also giving hbcu but low-key i don't i'm not mad for not going to, a P to hbcu my school is a pwi um <sighs> and i'm not mad at it i'm not hot i'm not i love my school it's super pretty i love it i'm so excited for the fall and at the end of the video i will be telling y'all what school i am going to be going to next fall and actually when this video will be posted in real time um the pictures will be posted about an hour or two later so stay tuned for that stay tuned stay tuned
yeah anyways so these are the schools that i did end up applying to with my gpa um i ended up applying to a good like 10 plus schools so i ended up applying to the university of uh well Houston Christian University, Hardin Simmons University, the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. I did try to apply to the University of Colorado in Denver, like my mom did, because she went there. But unfortunately, they don't have a nursing, uh, ma they don't have a nursing major anymore. Um, and also, FYI, I am a nursing major. So shout out to all my fellow nurses out there, and stay tuned because y'all can be getting those nursing chronicles well actually let me not say that let's pray that we can y'all can get a nursing chronicle series let's pray all right y'all pray because y'all know if god don't make it happen ain't nobody gonna do it <laughs> all right uh, but let me stop playing uh so then we have the university of the incarnate word uh word i used to confuse it for world but it's word um then we have northern arizona university um Abilene Christian University, um, Texas Christian University, and Heston College, uh, as well as Georgia State University, Midwestern State University, the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Oh, these are all just mouthfuls. And then we have Liberty University, Prairie View A and M, also known as Path. I don't know how to spell like I don't know how to say the acronym of it. So I just say the full out name. Um, and then Stephen F. Austin State University. So all of the schools, I applied to them. And um, I don't know how the price of the applications were because I had a waiver fee for all of my applications because I get free reduced lunch um, for like my district and everything. So I wouldn't know about that, but definitely check the prices and see if you can qualify for uh, an application waiver. Because if you can, you bet you won't save you some coin. Because some of these applications are 75 bucks. And who got a type of money to be spending on applications? It was not me. It was not me. You best believe it was not me. Um, anyways, so with the knowledge I had, all of these applications, all these schools didn't have um, none of them reg none of their regular decisions ended on february 1st if you guys know early decisions for a lot of schools um ended like december 1st or 2nd and then regular decision deadlines ended on february 1st but all of these schools they were a, a later dates or but you must check your information because some schools might change the date so you need to stay on top of that if you want to join that school so what i advise for you is to make a google a college drive document i'm not saying on your school like account because at my school after you graduate your entire school account hard drive and everything is erased so all those documents you have to transfer them to your personal files if you have stuff that you want to keep so me i make it on my personal gmail doc documents i made a college drive where i put the school my major what scholarship i can get for it um what clubs i want to join what sports i want to join over there just all the things that would make my my time there glamorous and um who would be my admissions counselor um who would i talk to to like the coaches x y and z what type of gpa what are the requirements to be um a nursing major at that school because to be a bachelor of science nursing major there are certain requirements that you have to keep up with like keeping a certain gpa like a 2.3 gpa every single semester or higher or else you will be kicked out of the program and things things of that sort so it is important to keep track of them what i did i color coded my applications all of the ap applications that i finished i put them in the color blue while the ones that i was accepted to i put them in the color green and then um i put the scholarships the major and the and the clubs in different colors that way when i would look i would see like and it's the same color all those those four things have the same colors for every single application it's just that the application like name itself is in different colors so yeah and the two apps that i used for college basically to prepare myself was niche and common app 
app. So I use Niche and Common App to apply to all of my applications. Co Common App is the place where you need to apply, where you do this, that you can actually do your applications on. Niche is more of an app to sort of guide you to the school that you might be, to schools that you might be interested in that might, that most kids in your school or in your district go to. Um, sorry, that's my phone's ringtone, but, uh, oh. Not me just like, uh, but like I was saying that most, um, kids in your district in your school in your place like go to which schools you might be interested in because it, based on your major your gpa as well as your sat or act score so yeah so yeah anywho um there's also um a lot of things to keep in mind be realistic with yourself don't set some high expectations here's an example i'm gonna give you like davy from never have i ever even if you've never watched the show she ended up applying to all um ivy league schools and didn't end up getting into any single one of them you know you have to set realistic standards for yourself and you know niche shows you um the college's acceptance rates if they have the major that you're looking for or if they have an alternative for that major and you know it has a bunch of helpful tips and it also helps you get in through direct admissions i was actually able to uh, uh, get admitted to my school and enrolled through direct admissions if it wasn't for that i would have never found out about my school and i would have never fell in love with it so don't throw niche down i've heard some people say that like niche is fake but from my experience niche was like top tier and on common app they sh on common app it's very helpful because it shows you on which day you, which is the last day for you to do the application it shows you the deadline and it also shows you what you have to pay if you don't have a waiver fee e for every single application so that's also helpful to keep in mind and you know check for that and um it shows you um at what time you can apply for certain semesters like if you're applying just for spring you start a spring semester or fall semester it shows you those type of things so now let me tell y'all what schools i got accepted to like i got accepted to um including some of the ones that i did not apply to so i got accepted to houston christian university um, Hardin Simmons University, the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs, um, the University of the Incarnate Word, um, Northern Arizona University, Abilene Christian University, Texas Christian University, and Heston College. These are the schools that I did apply to that I did get accepted to. Now I'm gonna go on niche real quick and um, tell y'all the schools that I did get that did want me to go to their school through direct admissions. Um, so those schools. Um, would be Tiffin College, Baker College, not this thing not working, um, the University of Central Missouri, um, Emporia State University, Eastern um, Nazar Nazarene College, um, but yeah, so... Yeah, and also, also, before I forget, Niche actually gives you a checklist of all the things that you need to get done in order for your progress uh, for your class of 20. Um, I'm class of 2024, so my checklist, like I'm going to show you all right here, my checklist right here, what I've done to, like, um, do what I've done before and everything what I've done, you know, which schools I decided to apply to, X, Y, and Z. It'll, like, give you a checklist of all the things that you need to do after a certain date and everything. And it's super helpful if you need reminders on, um, for what you need to be doing. So, yeah. And also, also, quick reminder, don't just apply to scholarship that your school offers. Try and look at, like, uh, sites to where they give you um individual like scholarships like niche offers uh scholarships um the bold organization gives like a scholarship and a whole bunch of other stuff so one of the 
these are two sites that I use to find scholarships, which is the Fast, no. One of them was GoMary.com, and the other one was FastWeb.com. Those two sites are what I use to find um, scholarships for myself, and I am um, still currently finding scholarships. You basically take a little survey, and you do, um, what is it? You do... Um, what is it that you do? What is it that you do? And you do like a little survey and you put your major in, what like GPA you have and all these different type of stuff for them to help um, make sure that, you know, they can give you the best financial aid packet out, outside of FAFSA for you. So, yeah. So majority of it, I've already done um a lot of stuff i've already done so i just haven't like gone back on my checklist and fix it but i'm about 94 percent done uh i was just you know being lazy enough and, and forgetting to like check things and stuff like that so yeah anywho oh actually i forgot some schools there's some extra schools that um also wanted uh to me to go to their school uh hold on <sighs> my niece is acting a fool with me there is northwick college and um bethel university in minnesota um and everything so yeah so it's really is not like uh what 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 would i say it's not it's really not that hard as long as you do little things along the way you will be okay when i tell you you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay and also niche does show you some scholarships that you may apply to it sends you to the site if it's outside of niche niche's website it'll transfer you to that site for you to apply to that scholarship and it gives you an ultimate it shows you like things like the ultimate um application timeline um three tips into getting the most aid um writing like your essays and things like that and how to create the perfect college list so really niche is a very nice app to have you can have it on your phone your ipad you can have the site on your computer i had it on my ipad before i took it down because you know i already got into my school of choice and everything so it's just is very 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 important for you to do things in order to admit your success because if you're just now applying to things things there's not that many i wouldn't say there's that many schools that still have applications open because some of most of them um ended back in march but there is a couple of them that have application deadlines up until june um and things like that but you always have to keep in mind that you need to be realistic um of course you can have hope and you know apply and you know put yourself out there if you think that you might have some type of a chance of getting in and also another cool feature of niche is that um niche will show you if you have a certain percentage above certain students that have been accepted to that type of school to see what are your chances of getting in um, that was very helpful in me deciding which schools I wanted to get into because of my GPA. Because those big schools like Baylor and Rice and um, Spelman University, all those schools have very like high kids with very high GPAs that go in. So I just was just like, I don't want to put myself in a place where I'm going to get disappointed. Let me apply to schools that I know I could be happy there. And I know that I could make a difference there. And I would be um, in a good position in my life to be there, be happy. And, and, you know, just like, just like thrive during my college years and really, you know, live out my call, my years while also honoring God. Um, and thankfully, I was able to do that. So, anyways, it is now time for me to tell y'all which school I am going to. <sighs> Drum roll, please. I'm going to. Um, 
I decided to go to Harden Simmons because, as you guys know, I already posted this video. I had went to Abilene to go and visit Harden Simmons as well as Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian and Harden Simmons are neighbor sister schools. Um, so yeah, I had went visit there with my family. You guys already saw the clip in one of my FaceTime vlogs, um, and everything. So go check that out because it's only like two videos before this one. So two or three videos before this one but anyhow i'm just i'm just like really just like i was just really really happy when i went there um i just i just felt the holy spirit just telling me this is the place that you need to be everything was just there was so many accommodations and so many things that i was super duper happy about because as you guys know, since like September, December, since like last year, I've been watching roommate horror stories and seeing like how many crazy things have happened to roommates. And one of the major things that I really, really wanted before I moved in with somebody in a dorm was for me to be able to have a roommate agreement. Hold on, y'all. Somebody's calling me. Sorry, guys. I had to pick up that call. But like I was saying, um, what was I even saying? Um, I wanted a roommate agreement and um, those were just some of the small things that you know um, Harden Simmons accommodated for me and so I am actually already enrolled so I'm really excited next fall I will be an HSU Cowboy. Go Cowboys! I'm so 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 excited you guys have no idea like I was just I'm just bursting at the seams like every single day like y'all it's on my iPad I'm actually using my iPad to film right now so I can't show y'all it's on my water bottle like it's on my water bottle like you, you know um it's on my keychain hold on like it's on my keychain like I, I'm really I'm ready to go like I'm I'm ready like I just need to buy the stuff, you know, drive over there. And it's a, you know, it's a nice little drive there. I'm really, I'm really excited. We're the Cowboys. Yeah. And I actually have a, sh they gave me a shirt at the end of my tour and everything. I'm just really, really excited. I'm really excited. Go HSU. I'm so, so excited. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys, um, you know, found some helpful tips but be sure and i mean it like at least the best that you can do for yourself now if you are a junior um sophomore in high school is for you to just like pick some schools that you think that you might like and that you may be able to get into if you like have a certain track record and you know keep things at a certain par in like your grades and your gpa yeah but find a school that you like do your tours you can start doing your tours at any time you can start them as a sophomore even as a freshman i think um actually when i did my tour at hsu there was actually a, so a junior girl who came to do her tours like literally a year earlier you know that's that's your really smart planning but of course you can still wait and do it your senior year that is your choice um whichever way you choose to spend your time but either way it will be beneficial for you to do tours really see what the campus looks like really see if you could envision yourself living there for four years or even two years if you plan on going to a dorm type of community college uh, but yeah anyways um, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. That way, you get notified when I post a new video because why don't you want to be notified? And if you have not subscribed, what are you doing? What is you doing? It's like, that's a little bit suspicious. It's a little suspicious. But, yeah. Anywho, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!